Hey guys and welcome back to Everyday AI. Today we're talking about something that isn't exactly relevant to AI, or is it? People don't even know that they have a basic human right to be able to get access to information about themselves and their own bodies that can change their lives. Every person should have the ability to get that type of test because if you understand that early that you're at risk, there's a lot more that you can do about it. And we'd like to see a world in which every person gets access to this type of basic testing and the types of tests that are done are ones that provide insight into the onset of disease in time to do something about it. Except that's not what really happened. The rise and fall of Theranos has been thought-provoking, to say the least. A story that started off with a strong Stanford-educated woman running a company that claimed to be able to develop some of the most groundbreaking healthcare technology that we've seen in a while turned into a story of smoke and mirrors, an ever-growing charade that I do think was based out of a genuine desire to develop a life-changing technology, but that came with too much hubris and not enough recognition of the realistic limits of science. In my opinion, there's very little that probably would have saved Elizabeth Holmes and Theranos from their ultimate downfall, aside from a whistleblower or some sort of third-party intervention, but I found it interesting that there's a startup based out of Tel Aviv that's developing a remarkably similar technology to what Theranos is trying to do, but this time they're using AI. Site Diagnostics was founded by Yossi Pollack and Dr. Daniel Levner, with the goal of bringing affordable and accurate diagnostics to point of care. Though their only product is a box called Olo, which analyzes blood samples using a special microscope and AI, as you can see, there's already a lot of similarities. To perform the analysis, it requires exactly two drops of blood, which are spread out on a film so thin that no two red blood cells can overlap. Once the sample is taken, it's put into this black box, which contains a special microscope that they claim uses AI to identify specific cell types and abnormalities within the sample. This entire process is designed to occur within the span of a regular doctor's appointment, which I'm taking to mean 20 to 40 minutes. Their AI, called Parasite, has previously been used to detect malaria in blood samples in India and Kenya, and their results are impressive. They're currently extending OLO to other blood diagnostic tests, starting with complete blood count, which is the basic blood test that you'd get when you go to a doctor just to see if anything's wrong. Now, everyone thought that Theranos was great when they started up, so when I say that I think that Site Diagnostics has some great potential, I'm saying that based on what I can see right now. However, there are a lot of things that really differentiate Site Diagnostics from Theranos, including the fact that one of their founding members is a PhD level scientist with a background in AI and biology. As a disclaimer, I don't think that you need a PhD to be able to do great research and development in artificial intelligence. Having said that, if you're going to make crazy claims, you should be able to back them up. Allo has also been approved for use in the UK, so it's passed their safety regulations, which means that at the very least, it's not hurting anyone. Most importantly, they aren't making scientifically unrealistic claims with nothing to really back it up, which was ultimately Theranos' downfall from the beginning. Having said that, it's a little too early in the development process to really make any large judgments about this technology, so I guess we'll just have to wait and see how it works. You actually can't buy this in the US yet. They're still undergoing testing to make sure that it's safe to use and that it passes US regulations. If you like this video and you want to learn more about this topic, you can let me know by smashing that like button and subscribing to my channel. I'm also going to be releasing a special bonus video tomorrow, so you should turn on your post notifications so that you know when that video goes up. Otherwise, you can find me on these social medias, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.